I have a daughter who is adopted. Well, I just found out she's been getting money secretly from my husband for years, and it's sketching me out. I don't know if something's going on between them. Ew, I hope not. But I'm going to get to the bottom of this no matter what. My daughter has been acting so strange. Please, can you help me? I think that she has a sugar daddy. That would be the only way to explain the change in her lifestyle and she's been buying clothes and going out. Well, well, using a lot of money. I can tell that the clothes cost more than the allowance we give her and she claims that she's doing some part-time social media work. How's she doing the work when she's never home and is always out partying with her friends? The worst part is that her grades are slipping. This is especially bad for her because she uh, does not have time for much. She's 21 years old and in her first year of college. We adopted her when she was 16, and when we adopted her, she was coming from a very abusive home. She had not had the best schooling in over two years, and we managed to get her re-enrolled in a school, and she's been trying to catch up ever since. She expressed that she was worried about her age when she went back to school. Therefore, I don't know why she's risking having to spend extra years in college. These days, she does not care about anything other than the next party. She's, uh, even blocked me on her social media so that I don't see what she's up to. But I, too, was once a young woman. Therefore, I know all the tricks, and a friend of mine suggested that I create a ghost account. Annika was a saving grace, for her idea helped me to get a glimpse into my daughter's life, and what I found was not very pleasant. My daughter is falling off the rails and associating with people who are bringing her down. I've tried to talk to her and tell her that if she carries on like this, she will ruin her life, but she claims that she's young and she wants to enjoy her life. I just wish that she was more like her brother Henry. Henry's 19 and goes to the same college as her. They're doing different courses and both stay at home. Recently, I've had issues with Casey because of the time that she comes back home. I've tried to tell her father about it and, well, he just has told me to lay off it. He says that she's young and just trying to live her life, and he claims that she'll learn from herself and that I should not push her. So then she decided daddy's little girl, and she complained to him about me. She told me that she now wanted to live on campus since I was having such a problem with her. So then I had no other choice but to keep quiet. I decided that I was going to get to the bottom of it. Little did I know that I was about to open a can of worms. What I found was something that had my uh, head reeling. It's left me with even more questions about who's this girl. This is not my sweet little girl who used to obey her parents and study. This is a grown woman whom I do not even know. For instance, I decided to snoop in her room in all the years that she's lived with us. I've never done such a thing. So for me to do something like that showed how bad our relationship has gotten. What I found both shocked me and disgusted me. Casey has been buying some clothing that's not very ladylike. I found it in her drawers, and when I checked the labels, I saw that it was really high-end. I went and googled the labels, and my eyes nearly fell out of the socket when I saw how much the clothing cost. With my findings, I went to Annika and asked her what she thought about all this. Annika told me that she was about to say something to me next that was going to break my heart. She told me that nowadays, young women have been making a lot of money online. There are sites where they entertain people for money, I don't want to say the things that go on there because I don't want to get flagged. But I'm sure if you're regularly on the interwebs, you know what I'm talking about. There was no way that Annika was suggesting that my precious little daughter was doing these things. How could she do that when we provide her with everything? Her fees are paid, we give her an allowance, and we're not so strict on her when it comes to curfew. Even if she needed something that cost a bit more... We make a plan, so why she would want to dress up in such a way to get money from creepy strangers online? I could not get my head wrapped around it. I was disgusted and in disbelief. There had to be another explanation for this, and I told Annika that my daughter would never do such a thing. Maybe she was just exploring a new fashion style. Uh, it was okay to explore. Besides, she had never worn those things around the house. Even though I dismissed her claims, I could not help but think that... What she had said. So I decided to start researching online. I'd read articles about people who were in this line of work, and I did this so that I could try to understand why she would do this. 
Meanwhile, things were not great between us at home. Even every time I saw her, I was haunted by things that I saw in her room. In addition, I could not sleep and stop thinking about the articles that I've read. If I confronted her and I was wrong, this would be irreparable damage to our relationship. And I had to tread lightly. So then I decide to do something that a lot of you here will not agree with. I don't condone looking through your child's phones. It's a breach of privacy and an indication that there's a lack of trust in the relationship between parent and child. Having said that, I don't trust my daughter and I think she's up to something and what I found out today, it's totally confirmed it. But I'm not sure that I like what she's up to. I would have to be wrong for she's not doing what Annika said. Instead, I think she's blackmailing my husband because of a secret that he's keeping from me. When I went through her phone, I found text messages between her and her father. You might be wondering how I knew her password. Well, that's because she has the same password for all the stuff since she was a kid. She has a problem of forgetting things, which is why she never changes her passwords. When I went through all her text messages, there was no useful information. So then I went into her archive chat, and that's when I found recent conversations with my husband. The conversations were very vague, but I could pick up on a few things. He owed her money and was going to transfer it as soon as he got it, and she gave him some days to get the money to her, or else his secret was going to be revealed. He begged her not to reveal the secret, because the secret was going to destroy his family as he knew it. So she told him that he had a couple of days to get the money. That was the end of the conversation, and the plot thickens. My husband is also involved. That explains why he told me to back off when I started asking questions, and... If I decided to probe further, his secret was going to be revealed. Guys, he's the one giving her all the money, but why? I mean, why? How is a big secret something so large that can destroy a whole family? I'm just feeling so disappointed right now. And, well, I don't even know how people can I could live under the same roof with. If we're keeping secrets from each other as a family, then are we truly a family? Uh, I don't know what to do. That's why I've come here. Maybe you know how to help me. Do you guys have any suggestions about what I can do next? Do you think that if I confront my husband, he will tell me the truth, or should I try to probe my daughter to tell me everything? I also wonder what it is that he's keeping from me. I'm a very forgiving person, but there has to be a limit. What if it's something that I cannot forgive? I don't know if I'm ready to lose my family or not. Update number one. Hey guys, I'm back with an update, and I've read through all your comments, and they've been helpful. I've decided that I should get a second opinion, though. It's not right for me to jump to conclusions without any proof, so... I went to my mother-in-law and told her what I found out. Maybe she knows what this big secret is, and she is a completely honest person, so I know that she would tell me. When I told her what I found out, she was just as shocked as I was. She told me that something very bad was going on there... And then she starts to blame my daughter. She has not fully accepted Casey into the family, and she has always thought that one day Casey would change or leave us to find her biological family. I should have thought of that before going to her because she already holds prejudice against Casey. I said to her that Casey is a child. My husband should have been more responsible and told me the truth. Instead, he bribed our daughter to keep his dirty little secret. If there was anyone who was in the wrong, it was her son. She told me that she would think about it and figure out a solution to get the truth. She told me not to do anything and to act normally. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to act normal. I admit that I'm very jumpy, especially when I have to uh, speak to either of them. I also cannot stop thinking about the secret. I just hope that I'll be able to handle the bomb when it drops. But what I do know is that no matter what happens, I want to try and keep my family together. I'm sure that my husband messed up somehow, and he's just afraid to tell me, but we can work through this together. We've gone through hell together, and this is nothing. I'm just hoping that what Annika implied earlier today is not the truth. I'm not even going to say what she said, because I don't want to put that into words. It's just simply too ridiculous to even consider that. And Yes, I might have actually lost my temper with Annika today, when she suggested what she did, I'm starting to feel bad. Maybe I'll go and talk to her tomorrow and just apologize. Update First of all, 
I wanted to say that the comments were right and Annika uh, was as well. Thanks to my mother-in-law, we found out the truth. There was somebody who commented that I should listen to Annika. It could be those two are having an affair and keeping it from me. Then there was another commenter who told me that snooping around in my daughter's business is not the best way to parent. I get it. It was not the best way to go about things, but she's been lying to me about things for months now, and I just want to know the truth. All of this could have been avoided if she had just been honest with me. Now the truth is out and it's ugly. It's so scandalous that I fear our reputation will never recover if this gets out. My mother-in-law is the one who got to the bottom of this, and it turns out that she was right about Casey. Casey has been having a relationship with my husband, and that's why he's giving her money to shut up. Neither of them denied it because they were so embarrassed. My husband tried to make me understand that he did not want to hurt me. It was all nothing more than a big misunderstanding. My only answer to him was to slap him on the face for daring to cheat on me, and for so with my daughter... I had no words. I took her when she had no one, and this is how she repays me. She cried and asked me not to believe my mother-in-law, but the text her there, and there's my husband's confession, too. Anything else that's coming out of her mouth is a lie. I've dealt with her in that way that I see best, and she's packed all her things and moved out. She's staying on campus right now, and we've already paid for her school year, but next year she is on her own. And then there's the cheating of my husband. I can't even look at him without being sick to my stomach. His mom offered to move him back in with her till we talked, and I agreed with her because if we stayed in the same house, who knows what I would do. I don't want to be on the news for murder. My son is not taking this well. He's been crying since he found out, and I've cried with him till the tears have run dry. Since then, we've just been sitting on the couch watching mindless television and drinking hot cocoa. I'm thinking of enrolling him in therapy. Jason's very emotional as a young man, and I know this is hard on him. I'm getting to make sure he gets all the help that he needs and does not affect his grades. As for me, I'll have to be fine. Sooner or later, people are going to find out that I'm no longer living with my husband, and then the questions are going to start. I think that I'll be ready for that by then, and for now, I just need space to process it. I feel so hollow and yet so full of pain at the same time. These were the two people I loved most in the world, and it seems that life has become a joke. Update. Hey guys, I want to thank everybody for your messages. They have helped me carry on, and after this betrayal I faced, it's now months later and I feel much better. There have been some developments in my life, and I decided not to divorce my husband. Instead, we were separated, but uh, co-parenting. He's living with us, and outside the world, we are happy. We don't have any relationships other than that, and I'll doubt that we ever will. This is just to uh, convince our son. We decided to get back together after his grades started to suffer. He got much better when we got together, and he blames Casey for all this and claims his father was just a victim to her charm. He says that she's like that with a lot of guys at school. Whatever helps him cope and not fail his first year. As for her, she dropped out of college and no one's heard from her since. We've been telling people that she's staying with relatives out of town. Whatever helps us to sleep at night, but I'm haunted by her and what she's done. And that's why I decided to clean out her room. I wanted to erase her memory, every bit of it. As I was going through her things and packing them away, I decided to go through her computer. Something just told me to do it. For hours, I sat there looking at pictures of our family. I started crying as I realized we would never get back to this. I started to delete the post pictures because they were mocking me. This is when I came across a folder written Dad. I wanted to delete it without opening, but I was too curious about what she might have hidden in this folder, so I opened it. I closed my eyes, hoping it was not something that would make me, ugh, gauge my eyes out. I slowly opened it and saw that it was a folder of mostly screenshots. I was shocked when I realized what it was. She'd taken screenshots of the conversations between her and her dad as well as the internet, browsing history. I went to the very first screenshot and it was browsing history. And that showed only fans. The next image was her uh, talking to her dad and letting him know that they have left a window open on her computer and she had seen his conversation with only fan models. I read through more of the screenshots and it started to make sense to me. 
He had used her computer to access OnlyFans because he did not want to risk me seeing what he was doing. She was hardly ever home, so it was perfect. But because he's a technologically challenged, he forgot to clean the browsing history. He didn't even use incognito mode. That was how he left on the pages open, in case he saw it. Casey then confronted him, asking him if that's the reason he kept on cutting her allowance. After that, there was conversations where she asked him for money, so that she could keep his secrets. This went on for as many months up until they stopped talking. She'd been right, she never did all those disgusting things, and my mother-in-law used that opportunity to lead a witch hunt against her, and I helped her. To say that I feel bad would be an understatement. I feel sick to my stomach because of what I've just found out. Oh, and I'm going to make sure that my husband uh, is going to face hell for this. Update. As you expected, there was hell after I found out that my husband was paying to see other women's pictures online. It was disgusting for him to do that to me. He had been right that this would tear the family apart, so I decided that I was going to leave him and take him for all he had. He made a fool out of me for so long, so... I decided to call Casey and get more information from her so that I could nail it. She was shocked to hear from me and told me that she did not want to see me. So I told her I need to see her. For I believed that she was wrongfully accused and I knew what his secret was and I needed her to give me more information and proof. Well, she agreed to meet in town where she was now staying and she told me that she was studying remotely and staying with a friend. She could not be around people at school because she feared that they would find out what she was being accused of. I told her everything up until the point where I met her. She then filled me in on the rest, and if you think that it could not get worse, <coughs> it did. She told me that my husband was actually going broke by the time she got kicked out. She felt sorry for him and told him to stop paying her. Instead, she wanted him to stop using OnlyFans. He did not listen to her, not knowing that she had installed spyware on his phone. It alerted her to the fact that he had actually moved to regular texting with one of the women there. In fact, he had met her. She didn't know if something had happened between them, but she suspected it. She then said that she suspected that he went along with the lie that he slept with Casey to protect his bigger lie. You know what, Casey? She was very, very sure that he was now broke because of all of his activities. She said that probably is because uh, should have come to me when she found out. But she got very greedy for even more money. She was facing peer pressure from the girls at school who dressed nicely and went out. She was crying when she told me and she was so sorry for the way she took advantage of us. She said that she's been sad the whole time that she was away. She said that she had no idea if we would ever be the same, but she wanted me to know the truth. She then told me that there was one last detail she held out on me, so I asked her to tell me. No matter how ugly it was, and she did, she told me the name of the woman that he had been talking to on OnlyFans and he actually met. Someone that I knew? I was full of such rage that I'd had enough time to pay the bill and give Casey some money for bills, and then I was running out of there. I made it just in time to see which unload her groceries. She smiled fakely at me when she saw me and got up to her. I smiled right back before I snatched the small carton of eggs from her and dumped them over her head. Oh, she screamed as they broke and she was covered in yellow, sticky, white goo. She screamed at me, asking me what I thought I was doing. She was my friend. This wasn't funny. I told Annika that with friends like her, there's no need to have enemies. So this was what made my husband use all his money to go broke. She acted like she felt sorry for me while she was busy eating my husband's money. Utterly disgusting. What happened next will be mentioned, but let us just say that I found out that she does not really have long hair. It's extensions, fake like her whole body, that she, uh, bought from a surgeon. You best believe that I left her messed up from head to toe, and I did not care that anyone saw me do it. Update. Hey guys, I've calmed down a lot since the last update. It's been a month now since I found out my husband was busy with someone. Well, uh, someone I considered a sister. Firstly, I wanted to address um, some of the comments I saw. Yes, I did speak about Annika's body and how fake it was. I know it was insulting her, and I was not directing it at anyone else who has had plastic surgery. 
as long as you did not sleep with my husband and I have no beef with you. Now, back to what happened. It's a miracle that I'm still standing here and did not have a heart attack. That man continued to surprise me even after I found out about the affair. When I got home, it was a call from my son. He was telling me that he was having issues with his college fund. His fund gets money from some of his pocket money and his allowance runs out. He mainly uses it to buy things that he needs at school. My son called me to let me know that his card was declined, so I went and checked the account, and as you can imagine, less than $50 was in it. I knew exactly who was responsible for this, so I went straight to his office so that I could confront him and embarrass him in front of his co-workers. When I got there, I made a big scene. My mouth was just opening up and spouting out insults, and I revealed everything to his co-workers and left nothing out. He tried to shut me up, but I refused to keep quiet. When I left him, he would not even look up due to embarrassment. When I got home, my mother-in-law blows up my phone. She asked me why I did not come to her with this information first instead of telling the whole world. She had the nerve to be disappointed in me when I was the one he betrayed. Where was her solidarity to me now? I switched off the phone so I didn't have to talk. When my son came home, I had no chance but to tell him that his dad has blown his college fund on women. My son was crestfallen when he found out what his dad has done. He told me that I could not let him get away with this. He wanted his father out. If I did not kick him out, then he was going to leave. I told him that he did not even need to give me an ultimatum. I was already going to kick the man out once and for all. Clearly, he did not respect me or his family. So, over the next few days, he came to fetch his stuff and that he could live with his mom. I requested him to allow me some access to his financial records so I could see how bad the damage was. I wish that I did no such thing. The damage was terrible. I mean, his bank account was in the negative by several thousand. It was pretty shocking for me. She had cleaned him out dry. I'm sure once his account balance started to decline, he decides to dip into our son's fund. Did he really think that he was going to get away with it? If I made sure to make copies of everything I found out, it would help me when I took him to court and made sure that he got nothing from me. I planned to drag him through the mud like he'd done to me. I also planned to make sure our kids did not remain estranged because of him. And What my daughter did was wrong, but she's young and learning. He, on the other hand, is old, should know better. We're currently in the middle of a divorce, and please just hope that it works out for me. And that I don't end up having to be financially responsible for him. Final update. Ding dong, the divorce is finalized. I'm free from that lying man and I got the house and did not have to support him. The best part, my daughter helped to make sure that I got a successful divorce. She's back home and is getting along well with her brother and she has also gone back to school. Both of them have to take some days off because people found out what happened between me and their dad. As for Annika, our friendship imploded. What she did came out and she lost all her friends. She had no choice but to lock herself in her house for weeks and she's lucky that I told no one about her OnlyFans. If I did that, she would have no choice but to move. Another thing I forgot to tell you is that my ex-husband lost his job. It appears that he's been stealing money from the company funds to support his addiction. When I came to the office and made a scene, his manager got very, very suspicious. See, the investigation linked to the theft of the company funds. Unfortunately for him, they let him go. He's still staying with his mom, and it'll be hard for him to get another job. She has supported him through all of it. She's blamed my daughter for ruining his reputation, and she was so quick to crucify my daughter months ago, but her precious son gets none of that. Well, she can stay with her lovely son. I hope he swindles her of all her savings like he's known to do. That man has a serious addiction and it's cost him his family. I hope that he's proud of himself. So, what's next for me? Work and family, and I need to work very hard to replace the money that he spends. Luckily, my daughter has financial aid and I just need to worry about my son. I might even uh, need to take on an extra job, but I don't mind. At least I'm not living under the same roof as that liar. I'm free, and I have my two amazing kids here with me. I mean, 
At least we can all be happy that Casey wasn't involved in something too sketchy. I mean, she wasn't the one hooking up. I'm just very happy that it looks like OP was able to get a little bit of justice, and she even went over to Annika's house, her former friend, and got a little justice with these two knuckle sandwiches. Guys, I want to know your thoughts about today's story. Say, for instance, you were in OP's position, and you shun your daughter, kick her out of the house, thinking all these bad things about her, and trash her reputation, only to find out that you only know 10% of the truth. Yeah, she did hide a secret from OP still, but it was not the secret that OP thought. Guys, what would you do? Drop it in the comment section down below. Let's go ahead and talk about that one, guys. My name is Mr. Reddito. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for daily videos. Here on Mr. Reddito's channel, we cover plenty of stories, which have stuff to do with revenge, inheritance dramas, cheating stories, HOA disputes, Karen and the Wild stories, and some of my favorite monster-in-law stories. So guys, it goes on and on. If you want to be a part of these, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you tomorrow. And of course, remember, it's cool to be kind. See ya.